For me, I identify with child and youth care work as, as a way of living. Growing up, I didn't have a positive experience in high school, middle school, elementary. I didn't have a positive experience in school in general. And essentially, I had a child and youth worker myself. So I always wondered, who's this guy kind of shadowing me around? I want to do that for a living. We have an obligation to be lifelong learners and be able to understand and support that. There's never, I don't know everything. I wish I did. For some people, it's a program that helps people do better work with kids. For me, it's an intervention in democracy. So you have these very interesting com conversations that really expand your thinking and expand. I can, I just, in my mind, I picture my brain like growing. This program really is about uh, making sure that practitioners have a whole picture of what child and youth services are, how one practices child and youth care within those services, and how one creates systemic change and social change with real social impact that makes it, that make a difference for young people. Our field is too docile and passive sometimes because we just accept things for what they're like and it's time that we need to stand up and be leaders and what better way is it when you have a masters and we keep pushing that level is that we can hopefully take on some leadership that's really important. So a graduate program is an essential component for any discipline that seeks to imbue itself with research, with uh, evidence, with um, the ability to significantly influence not just what happens on the ground but the way we organize the things that will impact young people. And it's simply not good enough to be working in the life spaces of young people and their families and be operating under a best guess kind of um, a way of being. So you need to know why you're doing what you're doing with young people and you need to know what the implication of those choices are. And this constant reflective practice that we always have, what does it mean, how do we practice it in today's uh, fast-paced society? You know, where do you find yourself and how, how can you use that as a tool to help navigate your practice with children? There are many things that aren't as they ought to be, at least from a child and youth care perspective. And this is a program that allows people to really explore in depth uh, as to why things are this way and what could be done about it. I often felt growing up myself, my voice was stifled. I, was, I always felt unheard. And that was one of the most uneasy feelings for me as a youth growing up, especially in a school setting. I always felt teachers didn't understand me. There's no one that really understood my needs. So I kind of want to work towards advocation and really empowering the, the, youth, the voice of youth to say, what they want to say has meaning. So I've been in this field for 38 years and I had um, made a pact that I was going to do my master's as soon as it came to Ryerson here. And um, when it happened, I thought, I got to do it. And it's interesting because I've got people around me saying, why are you doing that? Like, you've been in this field too long. What are you going to learn? And you know what? It, why shouldn't I do it? And I really felt I didn't have power to real, make real any change. Um, I would go in, I would do such great work and then come in a week later and everything just seemed to be undone. And I really felt I was headed for burnout if I kept doing this. I was really hitting a stagnant wall. I couldn't find a way to do anything productive to help the youth out. So I really felt the graduate program gave us hope as practitioners to really focus in and gear down on academia and really asking the hard to ask questions and how can we really bring about change in a positive manner for youth across Canada. I have very minimal frontline experience in this field. There's this tension um, in the theoretical components and the practical components in child and youth care. I think that by being with predominantly frontline practitioners or people who identify themselves as frontline, um, I think it bridges or helps unify that gap, which is very important. But it also adds incredibly um, to my learning. Just to sit by somebody who has no experience in the field necessarily and is so, I guess, up into the theory part of it, it's really exciting to be able to take my practical knowledge and experience and match it with that theory knowledge and be able to say, hey, we can do something here. We can learn from each other. It's a, it's a very unique program. It is the only graduate program in child and youth care in Ontario and it's one of only two master's programs in child and youth care in Canada. We've designed our courses in such a way that most of them can be taken online or through a combination of online and in class. A big, big, big plus sign on this program is it's all night courses. And if it's not night courses, it's online classes. So essentially, if you have a career or something 
that you're doing on the daytime, you kind of work around that and really organize and focus on time management and making this program accessible for you. So I'm working um, jobs as well as studying and finding that balance for me has been challenging. But what I appreciate and what I love about this program is the flexibility in being able to do that. Going out to Victoria at the University of Victoria, where they have a very strong child needs care presence, um, was an amazing opportunity to go and to connect and to network and to present things that you're really passionate about. You're in a room with like-minded people who all have a passion for, for young people. A lot of them are writing books, a lot of them are editors for journals, and so it gives you an opportunity to expand or to increase your publication number. And a lot of them are working in agencies that are hiring so that if you're looking for a job, um, you can shoot them a quick email and say, hey, are you hiring? And you have that relationship and they know you. It was just a really awesome experience and definitely one that's not um, replicated in every graduate program. Having a graduate program in child and youth care and having graduates from that program means that we will have people who can also ignite a passion in young people to actually participate in society, to contribute to our democratic processes, to make a difference. And I think that's incredibly exciting and incredibly rewarding and I can't wait to see more of this happen. This program has absolutely changed my life. It has transformed me because I think I'm even better. I have more confidence, I have more motivation and I have more knowledge, so I can, I can spew that out all over the place. If you never felt like you had the confidence to do so, this program will make you feel that you can go out there and, and really face the world. I was never one to be noted as an academic. I've never been one to be seen as smart. Um, I don't know why I'm here right now, but I'm here right now. And essentially, I want to use that to kind of inspire and inspire anyone, but, it's, but more particularly black youth, youth of color, racialized youth and minorities, and really help empower them and let them know that, hey, if I can do it, you, de you definitely can do it. <laughs>